has cute hair. Her hair is very light brown. It's got a little curl in it. It's already getting dark here. So strange. It shortens the day. I mean, even though you know that you know you still have a lot of the day left, once it gets dark, it feels like the day's just gone. It's so funny how our bodies work with light. This baby looks great. I would like to pink up her toes a little bit more. I'm not sure, we'll see how she photographs. She's tiny, but I wanna put her in this cute little muslin um, set that I got on, oh, I don't know what it was. I think this is Old Navy also. And it might be too big, but I wanna try it out anyway, cause it is so sweet. Again, I know this isn't winter wear, but sometimes when you have cute stuff, it doesn't matter. I just try not to use my good German scissors on plastic tag. So how was your holiday? How was your your grateful day, your Thanksgiving, whatever it is you celebrate or didn't celebrate this year? We kept it very low key and I mean very low key. My daughter did not even come over just because she couldn't get tested in time. She was around somebody who at work who actually tested positive and then her roommates brought people over you know, without considering that that might not be the safest move. And at the time she couldn't go get tested because all the testing appointments were booked until December 3rd. So she didn't come over. I did cook and then her dad brought over uh, a huge amount of food because I wanted her to have turkey sandwiches all week. She works full time and she's going to school full time. So she just, she deserves to be spoiled a little bit. She's working so hard. And it looks like she may be moving home for a couple of months. The owner of her building is going to sell it. He's older and he doesn't want to write out the whole COVID thing. He just wants to sell it and I guess, you know, retire and, and go live happily ever after. But that means that she's going to have to find a new place to live when she's going to be going off to four-year uh, university soon. And so it doesn't make much sense. So I told her, just come home for a couple of months, save some money, hang out with us, and, um, and that way you'll have a little extra when you go off to school. It's so expensive to rent here, so she'll be saving quite a lot of money. And it saves her the stress during the holidays looking for a place. Oh, I hope this fits. It looks like it's going to. This is a newborn. I was gonna um, wash it in hot water and shrink it way down to fitter, but I did not have the time. I haven't been shrinking clothes down as much. I used to wash everything before I sent it out and now not so much. The neckline is a little bit big, but I think in photography that'll look okay. And then if I send this dress with her, the person who gets her can run it through a hot wash. It's cotton, it's gonna shrink right up nice and small. So that'll be pretty. Oh, she looks so cute. I just love it. She probably doesn't need them, but like I said, it's cold. So I keep thinking these babies are chilly. And the other headband that was on that card, I might put on her. I think that would look cute. So our turkey day was, I made a tiny turkey. I don't eat turkey. My son's vegan. Um, my little doesn't really like uh, meat at all. His little guilty pleasure is the Impossible Burger from Burger King. We're not big fast food eaters, but he really likes that burger and it's kind of his special treat. The, the turkey was for my kid's dad and my daughter. I just got like a small 12 pound turkey. Thank you. I did something I never thought I would do because I am a big fan of butter and cream, but I used almond milk in my mashed potatoes and it turned out really, really good. I was pretty surprised at this may be a little too pink for this outfit, but I'll see how it photographs. If not, I have other things that are in a more dusty pink. But let me give you a close-up of Miss Pearl's face because she has an adorable face. 
Let me show you. Look at this sweet potato's face. Oh my goodness, I just love it. And that's her little hair. She turned out really cute. I really like her. So we have Miss Joanna. She's got her, her natural on right now. <laughs> She's got bed head. I'm gonna brush her out in just one second. I love the way she turned out. I think the last time we were on here, I wasn't sure if I was going to root her. And I did. And uh, I think if I would have used a thicker mohair that had texture, it would have gone easier. But I use this Be Fine Yearling Mohair. And it took a long time to build up a head of hair. And it's plenty curly, it's just so fine. It feels absolutely delicious. I love the way it feels. It's so nice. And I don't usually root a whole head and I did not paint under this, so this is all her hair. It's kind of a lighter brown than I wanted, but it turned out perfect with her skin tone. I like this baby. I think if I were to keep a baby, I would probably keep her. I really like the way she turned out. This was the baby that I painted while I was taking a class with Juice Box Nursery. There's always something to learn, right? And her hair is so fun to style. It just curls up so sweetly. She's perfection. I absolutely love her. I have a list of about six, maybe eight ladies who are waiting for her to get listed. I feel bad, I wish I, you know, had made six or eight of these. She was a lot of work, a lot of work. And I went ahead and um, painted tiny little baby hairs at the end all around her face. If I were to do this all over again, I would have painted the baby hairs first before I rooted her, but I wasn't sure that's the direction I was going. So, you know, you live, you learn, and I'm, I'm glad it all turned out the way it did. Her skin tones are perfection. And you know, there's a lot of um, talk about, you know, with a baby with th these tones that are super deep, do we really need to have to do veining and a lot of that modeling? Because if you look at baby photos of um, black babies that are, you know, tiny, uh, under a month old, you can't see a lot of veining or modeling. But I think that it worked out just because it's not so much the um, veining and the modeling that's important, it's those undertones that they're creating. It gives a lot of depth to the baby. When you're doing that many layers and you have to bake in between every single layer, and you have to wait for the baby to dry, then you have to wait for the baby to cook, and then you have to wait for the baby to cool, it takes a long, long time. Lucky for me, I work you know, usually in fives, so um, I probably should have brushed her hair after I put her clothes on. So I've always got something to do while I'm waiting, but it took forever. It just took forever, but it was so fun watching the color build. I'm gonna put her in cream because I think that shows off her skin a little bit. And I bought this cute little, I don't know, it's like a smock dress, just cotton. This will shrink up really pretty too and look cute all kind of wrinkly. And forgive my band-aid on my finger. I'm still healing up from my big fall. My goodness. Really, I really beat myself up in that fall. I tore a flexor, a hip flexor muscle, and I got sciatica. I sound like my grandmother. Oh, my sciatica. Um, and so I thought, oh, I'll just run it off. I'm just sore, I'll run it off, I'll run it off. And I actually made it worse. All the muslin garments, the necks, are, the necklines are always really, really big. Oh, she looks adorable. Look at these leggings. Oh, um, matters to you. It's just, they're little gap leggings. And I have my lineup already I'm just really trying to paint down my my stash of uh, real boring clothes. 
And I think, every time I think I'm almost done, oh my goodness, no diaper. But I do have, um, I don't know, maybe 10 sculpts that I bought several years ago. And they were like on my dream sculpt list. And I never painted them because I thought, I'm gonna wait until I get really good at painting before I attempt to, to paint those. I've held on to them for a while and now they're no longer available. And so I'm torn between reselling them blank because they're in high demand or just painting them. I don't know, I can't decide. That is so cute. She is so cute. I have a really cute headband for her. Little silk flowers on a vintage ribbon from France. Or another little Gap Happy Purchase. I just hate covering up her hair, that's all. But maybe I'll just put the hat on for photography for one picture with a little. So cute. I have a jar here of some little bows and I know there's a cream bow in there. There it is. sure this is the bow I want I don't know we'll see we'll play with that during photography this is actually a much better look but I like having a choice and then for her pajamas she's gonna go home in this little union suit and I'm gonna send her also with this cute little mustard dress I think it goes good with her coloring So that's Miss Joanna. I'll show you the back of her hair. I need to gel it up and get it pretty. I'll do that when we get closer to photography. And this is another baby I did not plan on rooting. The size of Big Joe's head is like a basketball. But I painted his hair for pigtails and I ended rooting. up the whole head anyway and then I painted some baby hairs <sighs> um, but the way I rooted it okay so let me explain what I did I painted the hairs that would be pulled up into the pigtail and then I rooted the pigtails very very thick Just like I did with the um, Haunted Circus baby. And I don't know, I just didn't like the way that it looked. I just wanted more hair. So I thought, oh, I'll just do some, a little bit of hair over the painted hair. So I ended up rooting. The problem with all of this is that you can't take the pigtails out and have a regular hairstyle it won't it won't work it basically has to have this hairstyle so that's the drag the other things that I'm not too crazy about are I had painted the whole baby and I was doing another project and I didn't realize that I had solvent on my hand Even though you couldn't feel it on my hands it was the film of it was still on my hands and when I went to grab the pieces to put them in the oven I removed paint on this arm here and so I had to repaint that and it's not a super great match it's a lot darker it's a little bit patchy and I'm not super proud of this ha thing happening here so I am going to disclose that and I will price this baby accordingly but other than that it looks pretty good when you're doing big babies you have so much real estate you're seeing things you wouldn't normally see with a little itty bitty baby and I'm going to get her hair combed probably will remove the rubber bands and do it again 